So speaking of all kinds of different chip tests, I know you guys are in R&D, but it looks like your demo is all analog devices components. Have you thought about showing this to them? Actually, we've been working with analog devices for the past year on a production test system for a MEMS microphone using PXI and LabVIEW. To learn more about this application, please welcome to the stage Rob O'Reilly, director, and Woody Beckford, test fellow from Analog Devices. Guys, nice job. Morning, Rob. John. Morning, welcome. Woody, Hi. welcome. Welcome to NI Week. So, tell us a little about your application. Well, John, over the past two decades, Analog has invested a significant amount of money into MEMS technology or microelectromechanical systems. Uh, MEMS technology today has been integrated uh, across the board uh, in applications including automotive safety systems, including uh, consumer devices like the Nintendo Wemo controller. Uh, for the designers, it, the nice thing is they're able to incorporate this feedback into their applications fairly simply. But when you compare MEMS test to a traditional semiconductor test, it kind of breaks the mold. Uh, MEMS is hard. And it puts a significant challenge and burden onto our production test equipment uh, from our manufacturing organization. So for the microphone, that burden was passed off to Woody. <laughs> well, there's really you know, two major issues with, with MEMS testing. Uh, the first and foremost is the, the type of inputs that uh, we're putting onto these parts, you know, acceleration, pressure, uh, velocity, position, and sound. Uh, the typical semiconductor ATE, the big iron, uh, really doesn't accommodate that directly. So there's some level of customization always required. Uh, specifically for the microphone, we had to supply a uh, calibrated sound source of a specific sound pressure level and then, you know, measure the electrical output. Uh, the second big issue is cost. Uh, in the case of the MEMS microphone, uh, we're shipping over 2 million units a week. Uh, and the ASPs are 50, 50 cents in dropping, so we can't spend a lot of money on, uh, on test, and the typical big iron really uh, doesn't fit that mold very well. So. so can you walk us through the test system that you developed? Sure, we used a, uh, a PXI chassis uh, with LabVIEW, and uh, we actually have a video of, of uh, what we built back in the, uh, in the development labs. Uh, the system's a standard PXI chassis uh, with a standard controller. We have the uh, data uh, audio acquisition boards, uh, source measure units, high and low speed digital cards, and a timing and synchronization card. And we interface that with a cable interface to a, a high speed turret handler communicating via uh, IEEE. And uh, this system is capable of, of producing uh, 8,000 units per hour with an average test time of 750 milliseconds for two units. Um, on top of that, we use the same exact hardware in our characterization lab. Uh, and, and by having the same hardware, uh, we really avoid any ca uh, correlation issues between production and development. And uh, that's really enabled by the fact of the, the size, the weight, and the cost of the Pixie chassis allows us to use it in, in both venues. So how does this new PXI solution compare to your previous ATE equipment? <laughs> well, the, uh, the cost benefits are enormous. The, uh, the existing system, our old system, is over 450K. Uh, the PXI system is, is 40K, inclusive of all hardware, software, interface cables, and everything. Uh, beyond that, the footprint and the size and weight of the systems are just dramatic in contrast. And, uh, also, which is very significant, is the, uh, the power consumption. Uh, the old system drew 10 kilowatts minimum. Uh, the PXI is, is 60, 600 watts maximum. So uh, the implications as we ramp up our products and we have to add additional systems, uh, we don't have to contact facilities and the air conditioning requirements way ahead of time in order to make that increment. Uh, with this microphone program alone, we're looking at adding something like between 20 to 25 systems. Uh, the total savings will be uh, at least $10 million just on the capital, and everything else would be on top of that. So. Very impressive. As the uh, former test director and a business owner in the MEMS division, I think it's safe to say that the, the PXI system will become a critical part of our strategy and will certainly become more competitive with it. I also think it's fair to say that what we've done for product development cycles of MEMS devices, as well as production testing, 
is really going to change the way people view LabVIEW and the PXI system. Well, that's great. It's a very impressive system you've developed. Obviously, some pretty dramatic benefits you're realizing. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Woody. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Thanks John.